Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie Colours. I hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to pop in here and do a haul video of some recent books and supplies that I have gotten my hands on. Not that I need any more books, but um, yeah, why not, you know? Uh, so well, let's get started. I'll just move these ones to the side. So the first one I have is Tales from Atlantis by Hannah Carlson. Um, so I should say I have done nothing in any of these books. They're all fairly recent purchases. Um, I was on the fence about getting this book, but I do love Hannah Carlson books. And um, I have plenty and several that are uncolored, so I really don't need any more. But I kind of just wanted to get it. Um, I love this one. I, in fact, I love most of the images in here. Um, I read some reviews that were kind of a little bit disappointed about the content of this one, saying that, you know, Tales from Atlantis, they expected a lot more underwater scenes and, you know, underwater city scenes and that sort of thing. Um, I understand where they're coming from, but I'm happy with this book. I think it's beautiful. Um, yeah, really don't really doesn't bother me that there's not more kind of um atlantis looking pages if you like I, I just think it's really lovely and i think there's a lot of scope for different colors and um vibrant pages and doing things a little bit different so yeah i am looking forward to doing some pages in here. I don't know when I will get around to doing something. I should do it soon. I did say that I was not going to buy any new books without um, you know, first colouring a page before I put it on the shelf. I've kind of broken that rule already. <laughs> I'm terrible. Um, but yeah, it is a lovely book and I do hope to get at least a page done in there in the very near future. So that is Tales from Atlantis by Hannah Carlson. Next up, I showed this in my April plans video. This is the Polar Bears World Cruise Coloring Book. It is by Yuki Shiratori. Um, and it's just a really cute one. If you've seen any of these Japanese coloring books like um, Yururi Mouse, um, there's a whole different series of them different uh they're different artists but they're similar kind of styles i guess um this one is just beautiful so at the start they normally have some inspiration pages for you to look at uh, i think these are just beautiful and some information uh it's all in japanese and i haven't um haven't translated it at all um <laughs> But this book is lovely because there are lots of different seasons in it. Um, See, so we've got wintry looking things here. I guess this is the polar bear deciding to go on his cruise. Here he is in his little boat. Um, so it kind of starts, he gets this message in a bottle. I guess that's what kind of <laughs> gets him going. Um, but a lovely wintry page. We've got, you know, some flowers and mushrooms and crystals. Um, some snow globes which are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's getting brighter, the sun's just decided to come out. I love this page, another really good wintry page. And this one with the northern lights and the ice and the narwhal. Um, it's very, very cute. Here he is, he looks like he's packing for his adventure. And then you've kind of got a little motif page. And then off he sets sail to this wonderful little tropical island. <laughs> Um, but I just think it's absolutely stunning. Really, really cute book. I love the images in here. Um, these seagulls with the little sailor's outfits on them are just too cute. Um, yeah, and there's lots of variety. So this is a page I have marked. I'm doing this one as a buddy colour. Um, and I haven't started it yet, but... It's a huge double page spread. I actually saw as I was just flicking through there that there is a little bit of an inspiration image there for half of the, half of the page. I have a few ideas about what I wanna do with this one, but yeah, just need to get started on it. Um, yeah, and there's, like I say, there's a variety of things. I love this jungle scene. I think it's so cute. All the different animals. <sighs> this one's adorable. Got fruit page. 
a big kind of toadstool page. I love this little um, kind of camping scene with the wigwam. Um, yeah, just a really lovely book. Uh, getting into kind of more fall, Halloween, autumn type pages. Um, so there really is something for all the seasons in here and it's a lot of fun. Very cute images. Um, paper's a nice quality. If you know these Japanese colouring books, you know that what the paper is like. It's very similar to all the other books. Um, but yeah, just a really lovely variety of images and pictures. This is another one that I absolutely love, this underwater scene with the um, ray and the dolphins and there's a whale down here as well. Um, and then you've got an underwater kind of carnival, which is really, really fun. And again, your imagination could just go crazy with all the different colours you could use. We've got a dragon. Um, yeah, there's just such a huge variety of things in this book and I think it's absolutely beautiful. Balloon page, which is gorgeous. And then there's like a little map um, and a few other little extra bonus bits and pieces. And then you've got a final page at the end here and the index. So really lovely book. So that is Polar Bears World Cruise, I think it's called, by Yuki Shiratori. Absolutely lovely book. Next up, I have one that was on my kind of um, wish list for some time, but it was out of stock on Amazon here. And I saw it came back in stock. So I quickly grabbed it. It was like the last copy available. It's... Um, Art Therapy, Le Grand Carré, Disney Petit Poupée, which I believe is Little Dolls by Hatchet Heroes. The artist for this one is Capuchine Sauvignon. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Close enough. Um, I have been seeing this one all over Instagram. Um, just really fun, cute little um, kind of pictures of Disney characters as little children <laughs> and I think it's just adorable it's a very sketchy kind of style um but I think it's so much fun the paper's really nice and thick single-sided so it would be great for alcohol markers um yeah just thought this one was a lot of fun and couldn't wait to snap it up again haven't done anything in it but I just think it's adorable um and as I say, I've seen a lot of people do pages from this book and they always turn out super cute. Um, and I just think it's a really cute idea. I love this one. Dopey is a bit of a favourite of mine. <laughs> so this, this is gorgeous. Good Dopey and Grumpy Dwarf outside their cottage there. Snow White, Tiana, um, Carl and can't think of a name from Up. Vanellope, uh, the Cheshire Cat, Ariel, Eric, I guess. Uh, they're just adorable, really cute. I've seen this one done numerous times in lots of beautiful different ways. I really like that one. Um, but I was really excited to finally get hold of this one. And it's just a lot of fun. And as I say, very cute. Um, yeah, I have ended up doing a full flip through here, but it's a very quick one. Uh, so, yeah, really excited about that one. Can't wait to do something in that. So that's Petit Poupée. Um, it's an Art Therapy Hatchet Heroes Disney colouring book. And the artist is Capuchine Sauvignon, if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> Apologise if I'm not. Ordered from Amazon Japan. And I've been waiting for these and they finally arrived the other day. So the first one is Romantic Country, The Third Tale by Eerie. All of these are Eerie books. Um, I've kind of fallen in love with Eerie despite having only done one page in her books. Uh, I really need to rectify that. But I'd seen quite a few flip throughs of this one. And I kind of feel like it's one of my favourite romantic country books. Um, not sure why. I love this page. Yeah, just really beautiful. Um, this is another favourite page. I really like this one with the cottage. I think it's just gorgeous um but yeah really lovely book um and very similar to all of Erie's books with the kind of um it's a sepia colored ink rather than black ink um 
and I believe she uses a toothpick to colour with, which is a bit different, or not colour with, but to draw with, which is a slightly different um, method from a lot of other artists. And I really like her style. It's quite whimsical and, um, yeah, very pretty and fun and um, lots of really cute images. So I'm sure you've all seen flip throughs of this one numerous times. It has been out for quite some time, but I finally got my hands on it. So really happy to have that one in my collection. And that's Romantic Country, The Third Tale by Eerie. I'll probably take these bits off. I've just kept them on there for now. Next up, I have this one, which is A Journey Through Time by Eerie. Again, it's another one that's been out for a little while. Um, I had thought that I didn't really need it but the more I saw um flip throughs of it the more I was like oh you know what I really I should get my hands on that as well um kind of complete my eerie collection <laughs> like I say don't really need any more books but um yeah there are some lovely pages in this this is quite a special page for me this is um I translated that front this is Hoi An uh, Lantern Festival and my family and I travelled to Hoi An in Vietnam a few years ago. And um, it's a beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful part of the world. So I'm quite excited about doing this page. Um, then we've got this one. I live in the Middle East in the UAE. So we have lots of camels and deserts. So this one is quite appropriate for where I live. Um, we've got, this is a marae in... Um, I think it was, I want to say Tahiti or somewhere like that. So I come from New Zealand. Um, so we have marae in New Zealand. They're different. They look different to this. But again, this had a little special place in my heart when I saw it. Um, and yeah, it's just beautiful. I love this page. And again, there's lots of variety, uh, lots of different images. And as it suggests, it's a journey through time, but also... A journey kind of around the world to different areas so again this is quite um it's it's very reminiscent of where i am now with the kind of arabic patterns um so yeah i'm looking forward to dipping into this book and maybe trying a page or two again not sure when i'm going to do that but uh it is beautiful i'm hoping you can see enough of the page there zoomed out very far this is a beautiful one um i think this is really lovely so i couldn't see that being really bright and colorful and fun um this would have been a good one for easter so maybe i can save it for next easter with the easter eggs yeah and there's you know christmas pages in here um so different things um this one which is kind of very Harry Potterish, uh, Halloweeny, um, yeah. So lots of very detailed pages. I mean, look at this one with all the flowers. It's beautiful, but very detailed. So I think some of them will take a little bit of um, doing. I also love this page with the garden and the little bunny rabbit. Um, I think this one's beautiful. So yeah, lots of lovely pages in here just have to get around to actually coloring something so that was Eerie's A Journey Through Time and then the final Japanese coloring book I got is um, Legends of the World or when I translated it I actually translated to A Journey to the Magical Country with a Fairy so by Eerie but basically it's Legends of the World um, so again you've got some kind of smaller little note card pieces at the back and then you get into kind of the main images and the main book some of these i did recognize some of them i wasn't 100 percent sure what they were um, so i think this is petra um they i did translate them at the start but i i can't honestly remember what all of them were this one looks a bit like Maui um, with his giant fish hook. Um, but again, you've got images from around the world and 
Um, there's different costumes. I haven't broken the spine of this one, so it's, yeah, not sitting flat yet. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. You've got, um, I think this is Isis, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, they're kind of, as the name suggests, legends from different parts of the world. Um, I think when I read the translation, this one was a werewolf. Uh, this is actually um, a Portuguese um, motif. Uh, you've got um, a gargoyle in Paris, uh, a unicorn. So yeah, lots of different, um, we've got all the star signs on this page, which is fun. Um, but yeah, there were lots of different legends from all around the world. And um, it was kind of fun reading up about them. I can't remember them off, off hand, I'd have to look, look up. I did write them all down at the front of the book in pencil so that when I come to color, I know kind of an idea of what the page is about. Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely book, beautiful images. And yeah, really happy to have this one added to the collection. Again, you've got some like, you know, Halloween-y type pages. Um, I remember this was definitely the York City Ghost Tour, which I have actually done many years ago. It's a lot of fun, so that's quite a cool page. Um, but yeah, just lots of, lots of fun pages. And again, lots of variety, lots of different scenes, some much busier, some a little um, less busy. But yeah, really lovely. So I'm glad I've got that one. That's Aries Legends of the World. Creative Haven Village Charm Coloring Book. This one's by Teresa Goodridge. I have been eyeing this one up for a long time um, and it was on a special deal and I decided to snap it up. Um, I love Teresa Goodridge's images. I'm not sure when I will color this one, um, but I love this page. Um, but the page I really, really like is the actual, the, uh, not the front cover, it's on the inside cover. Yeah, this one with the quilt. So that's the page I'm really quite um, excited about. <laughs> Um, but all of the pages are beautiful. This one with the with the quilts in the cottage. I really like this page. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd snap it up. It was it was pretty cheap. It was on a half price deal, um, and I kind of felt like I might as well grab it. As I say, I've been eyeing it up for quite some time. I have quite a few Teresa Goodridge Creative Haven books haven't done a great deal on them so I probably didn't need another one um but yeah I've got one so yeah it's a beautiful book so that's a creative haven a village charm by Teresa Goodrich okay next up I have some um supplies so I bought myself I already had um, the first three sets of these Distress Oxide, or Distress Watercolour Pencils, I should say, by Tim Holtz, Ranger and Tim Holtz. And the, he came out with um, a second set of three um, a few months ago now, I guess, but I, just, I hadn't gotten hold of them and I decided to grab them. And I have ordered them in colour order so they didn't come like this I've, I've mixed them all around um but i now have all 72 that are currently available if you use distress oxide inks or distress um just distress inks or any of the distress products they're all the same colors so it's the same colors as you get in the inks and the oxides i have done a swatch let me open this up I've done it on watercolour cardstock, so it's quite thick. But yeah, ooh, and I'm knocking everything over. This is um, the colours, so it's not very neat to watch child, it's just a rough one. But you can see there's a beautiful range of um, all the different colours. That's the rest of them down there. Um, so I'm quite excited. I have been using these a lot recently, so um, I really enjoy using them. I find them I find them easier to use than my ink tents or my Neo Color 2s. Um, I find I have a little bit more control with them. I don't know why, maybe it's a mental 
thing with me, but um, I really like them. So I'm really happy to have the full set. And I have, as I say, been using them quite a bit already. So yeah, really excited. So I'll hold them up a little bit closer. It's a bit shiny with the lid on. I'm not sure it's gonna make any difference, but that's kind of the pinks and reds. And then I have the kind of oranges and yellows and that's that. Then I've got the blues in there and the kind of teals and greeny blues. Then I've got the greens in this one. I've got the purples in here and there's some kind of like violets and then some red violets. And then I've got the more kind of neutral browns, black and white in this one. So it's a really good variety of colors here on there. Um, and yeah, I really like, I really like them, really love using them. I can't remember what order they're meant to go in that way, I think. Um, and I'm really so happy to have them in my collection. So that's the Distress Watercolor Pencils by Tim Holtz and Ranger. Uh, get that out of the way. The next thing I have, and I did show these really briefly um, in one of my recent videos because uh, I'd only just got them and I was quite excited about them. These are my new metallic watercolours. These are by, I got them on Etsy. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It's Ayuli. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But yeah, this, um, I, I ordered them, as I say, from Etsy. That She's based in the States. And so I got this um dot card series it's the mica dot card so i've got um a b c and d these were some little freebies that she threw in which i thought was really lovely and then i have two little tins so i have this one this one actually came with a little swatch card so i did swatch them out so there are these ones this is the RC set. I'm not sure what RC stands for, but hopefully you can see. They're beautiful and shimmery. And this is a very small um, swatch card, but you can see their color shift. Um, they're a lot of fun, really looking forward to playing. In fact, I have already used um, them on a couple of pages. So that's that. And then I got a bigger set as well. Now, excuse the swatch chart. I threw the swatch chart together very, very quickly uh, today, just before filming, and it's not very neat, <laughs> but it, it does the job. So these are the colors I got in this one. So there's some really lovely kind of like, um, almost, what's the word, iridescent colors up there at the very top. These are the, the kind of whitish ones that you can see here. And then you've got some more kind of um, color shifting metallics. You've got some glitters down here. These are more like glittery paints. Um, but yeah, I just really, really like them. And I'm looking forward, as I say, to trying them out. Hopefully you can see the light catching them there and the color shifts. So these are a lot of fun and I'm really excited to have them. And as I say, looking forward to using them a little bit more. So that is my, I think it's Ayuli, no idea if I'm saying that right, but they're watercolors and she's on Etsy. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and actually, although these are small and they were relatively reasonable, reasonably priced, there's a lot of pigment there. I think they're gonna last a long time. I don't think you need a huge amount of these. So I think they will last quite a while. The final thing I have to show, I'm not sure if it's going to fit in, I may have to zoom out a little bit more. Uh, let's see, hopefully that will do the trick. I got my hands on some Uni coloured pencils by Mitsubishi. I actually bought these from Amazon Japan. Um, they cost quite a bit with the shipping, but they're so cool. I'm going to try and open them up here and show you how they open. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see. But they open up like this and then they kind of fold out and so they just you kind of stand them up like so and you can pull them out and then you've got access to all the different pencils 
So it's kind of a neat system. I'm hoping you can see that there. Um, so it's a really neat storage system. Um, and as you can see, I've used some of these pencils quite a bit already. Um, I really like them. Um, I'll show you the swatch chart. Let me fold them up. They're beautiful colors. Um, they're not, they're not soft like Prismacolors. Um, I don't know how they compare to Holbein. Holbein. I've never used Holbein pencils. Um, so they are quite a firm pencil, I would say. Um, they do have a nice pigment. They layer well and they blend well, um, but they're a firmer pencil. They're more in line with uh, a polychromos pencil rather than um, a Prismacolor, to give you some comparison. Um, they're obviously a lot cheaper than polychromo, so they're not the same kind of quality, but I just wanted to try them out. I thought they looked kind of fun. There's a hundred pencils, uh, so a hundred colors. That was the biggest set I could find. I think there's a 72 set as well. Um, but I decided to try them out. It did cost a little bit with the shipping, but still wasn't too bad um, ordering from Amazon Japan. So yeah, really, I, and I've used them a fair few times already in a couple of different pages um really like using them and as i say i find them a nice pencil i i prefer i like my prismacolor pencils um but i do think i prefer a firmer pencil i think prismas are great uh, and i use them quite a bit for certain books um i get frustrated with how quickly i go through them i think i'm quite heavy-handed anyway so I, I tend to wear them down very quickly. Um, so it's nice to have something that's a bit different. Um, but yeah, that's the Mitsubishi Uni colored pencils. Um, and as I say, really, really happy with them. They're, they're a lot of fun and I will definitely be using them more in upcoming videos. And that is it for my haul. I think that's probably more than enough. Uh, I got quite a bit. Um, yeah, been a bit carried away lately with uh, stuff, but you know, it's, it's fun and I'm enjoying it all. So that's the main thing. And I have used all of my supplies, um, particularly love my Distress Watercolor pencils. I think I'll be using them a lot going forward. Um, I've already used them on a fair few pages this month. So looking forward to doing more with those. And I'm enjoying these and these watercolors, um, yeah, can't wait to use more of these. They're just gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful colours. And the books are a lot of fun, but I do actually need to do a page or two in each one. Um, but hopefully in the coming months I will do so. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this little haul video and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.